Today we're going to be making a hair growth oil with Bring Raj. And I'm going to show you an effective and simple way to make that hair growth oil that's also going to be easy on your pockets. A bunch of money. So let's get started. So Bring Raj is one of those herbs that are a bit of a underdog. They kind of usually get kind of overlooked as being a really good herb for hair growth but not only is bring rash really good for hair growth it's known to stop premature graying it reduces the grays it sometimes can darken the hair a little bit so if you have grays that's great and it's very good if you are trying to get an herb that focuses also on your scalp bring rash is the perfect herb for all of these scalp treatments and it'll last so long so let me show you how easy it is to do this first you're gonna need a carrier oil. I definitely would recommend camellia oil as a good base, a good starting oil, but you can use oils that you do like. If you plan on using this as um, something that you'll be like locking and sealing in moisture and being a little thicker, then what you can do is you can add a coconut oil like our Coco Veta hair oil, which has a lot of other great herbs already infused in it as well. So the camellia oil that we sell, you probably are gonna need, if you wanna do the same proportions, uh, cause again, two cups of oil, and that can be any oil, any blend of oils that you like, but I would recommend camellia because it does focus also on hair growth. And then I'm going to be using half a package of Brain Rash powder, so it's 50 grams, cause every pouch is 100 grams. And I did get essential oils, cause you know, I love essential oils in everything I make just about, I love to put essential oils in it. And this is Clary Sage, another oil excellent from promoting hair growth and it smells really nice so i'm going to show you exactly how to make it we got a crock pot i got that from amazon it's the mini crock pot works perfect all right let's get started with infusing our bring Raj hair growth oil so i got my two cups of oil i'm using organic camellia oil and again you could use more than one oil if you would like to or a little oil that's a little bit thicker or whatnot as long as you get like two cups of oil and we're going to put this on a warm setting then i'm going to add my 50 grams of bring rash powder there we go mm -hmm. and then we're going to mix it up so it blends really well so just keep mixing that until it's all completely blended and make sure all those little lumps dissolve yes there we go keep infusing that no little lumps make sure they're all dissolved and our organic bring rash is so finely sifted it is just oh, so good and so this is gonna be so easy to strain as well and we're gonna get all the good good out of it. So now that it's fully mixed and blended like this, and you've got rid of any little floaty bumps, because sometimes the powders are so finely sifted, they stick to each other. So just make sure that you have gotten all those powders fully blended into the oil and leave that on a warm setting. And you can leave that sit for approximately, I would say, you know, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. I like to really honestly let any oil infusion sit for a couple of days, sometimes weeks. So remember when you're making this to plan ahead, ideally, so that way you can have it to use. Um, it smells amazing already. And so we're gonna come back to this and I'm gonna show you how you strain it once it's ready. All right, so that has been sitting here for quite some time. I want to note that I don't leave it on the whole time that it's infusing. I just let it sit at room temperature after a couple of hours typically. And that way, you know, it's just continually infusing because I have it very warm actually in my home and space. So I definitely would like to have it sit so it gets really strong. And I take my crock pot and my stocking and my container here to get out all the little bits. You see that guys? Woo! And then we are gonna strain with the stocking that I use for all my oil infusions and pull that through. If you want, you can use gloves. I am always 
I just love to touch. Oh, look at this, guys. Wait, first of all, wait, look. Can you see that? I love to touch everything I make. Sorry. See how dark this oil is? Oh, yeah, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, but look. You see that? But all the herbs, anything extra was caught up as well. So at this point, I would add the essential oils in once it's completely done. And for two cups of essential oil infusion like this, we don't need a lot of essential oils. We're probably going to use about five to ten drops. Oof, there we go. And I'll take my spoon that I have here. And I'm going to give it another stir because I want that essential oil to be all blended into this. What you can do from here is you can put it into an applicator uh, bottle, like, like one of those uh, 12 ounce. We have a 12 ounce plastic bottle on our website that you can put it in and it has a little spout. It's easy to kind of just dispense it right onto your hair directly, like just putting like a little bit as needed everywhere. And if you want to store some, you can put it in a glass bottle like this. Pour it in there. Yeah, and store it. And that's it. I love these type of containers because it locks and seals it, like really sucks the air out of it. So I love doing this. And that's it, guys. You have, look at this, Bring Raj oil. I mean, oof. You know it's good when it's this dark. So you can use some, if because you made a lot, like two cups is a lot. So you can use some of this like right away if as needed and put it in your applicator bottle, you know, any type of applicator or spritz, infuse a spritz if you want. And you can store this, you know, in the cupboard. Um, that'll be fine and it should last you for up to a year. So there you have it. We have made Bring Rash Hair Growth Oil. So what did you guys think? I know you guys are gonna absolutely love this oil. I want you to tell me exactly how you use it. Did you use a chameleon oil? Did you play around with it? Did you use another oil that your hair really likes? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear how it turns out. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get the notifications through hitting that bell so that you do not miss any of the great content and videos that I have coming for you guys. All right, see you next time.